Here we have a problem from the University of Maryland math competition in the year 2012. And it tells us that the rectangle ABCD is split into seven smaller congruent rectangles. And if the area of ABCD is 336, it asks us to find the perimeter. I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of the rectangle here because I don't want to draw it out. It's a lot of congruent rectangles. So I'll go ahead and put the picture from the competition up in that corner. And we'll go ahead and start on our solution. So first, we know that the area of this rectangle is 336. We know that our goal is to find the perimeter. But we also know that the area of that rectangle is 7 times length times width. And we'll say the length is the shorter end of those congruent rectangles and the width is the longer end. But that means that 7 times length times width is equal to 336. But then we also know that 4 length is equal to 3 width from the top of that rectangle and the bottom of that rectangle. So we have four length segments across the top and three width segments across the bottom of that rectangle. Okay, but now using substitution, we find that W is equal to four thirds length. And then substituting this back into our original equation here, we get seven times four thirds times L squared is equal to 336. And simplifying this down, we get 36, but then the square root of 36 is 6. And we're only going to take the positive square root here because we're dealing with length and area, which are all positive terms. Okay, but now we can solve for the width as well. That's pretty easy. That'll give us 6 divided by 3, which is 2 times 4, and that gives us 8. And now plugging back in, we can check 7 times 8 is 56 times 6, that is 336. So that checks out. But now we can find our perimeter from 4 length plus 3 width. That's from the top plus the bottom plus 2 times length plus width. So 4 times length is 24. 3 times width is 24. That makes sense. That was our condition that they had to be equal. So that makes sense there. And then plus 2 times the combinations. That's going to be plus 28. And so our perimeter is going to be equal to 24 plus 24. That's 48 plus 28 is 76. And that is our final answer. And I think that's enough for now.